Hello and welcome back to another episode of Greenleaf TV. Today we're going to be talking about the amazing, the beautiful, the wonderful, and extremely versatile plant of bamboo. There's hundreds of varieties of bamboo. That are, bamboo is in the grass family and it's one of the most versatile grass species on the planet. It absolutely has hundreds, even thousands of uses from construction material and clothing to ed edible and medicinal properties. And it's a wonderful, beautiful plant in the landscape that can be used for hedging and screening, can be used for uh, fodder and food crop. It can be used for beauty and aesthetics, creates an amazing environment. And it's also habitat for a lot of birds and other, other uh, insects and creatures. So I highly recommend planting some bamboo in your yard if you haven't already. And there's, there's a couple things you should know about bamboo. If you're selecting bamboo for your property, there's two main varieties of bamboo that you want to consider. There's your clumping bamboos and your running bamboos. And the, the main difference is that if you're getting a clumping variety of bamboo, you can be pretty certain it's going to stay in one area. It's going to stay in one spot and just slowly spread out through rhizomial runners that kind of send out roots in a very short, maybe three, four, five foot distance and, and send up a new grass shoot. However, on the other hand, the running bamboo is the bamboo that has given bamboo a bad name. In certain uh, situations, like in an urban environment, these running bamboos can be extremely invasive. They can take over whole, whole yards or you know, go from one person's yard under a fence into the next person's yard who maybe doesn't want the bamboo growing up in the middle of their lawn or in their vegetable garden. So make sure that if you're getting a running bamboo, that you're planting it in an area where there's plenty of space, that it's not going to be an invasive species for your area, and it's something that you're going to actually manage, or the people who live on the property are going to actually manage by harvesting. One of the things that I want to talk about briefly is if you, if you have bamboo in your yard, or if you're going to be planting bamboo, you should know how to maintain it properly, because if you just leave it alone and don't ever go in there and thin it out, it's not going to look so healthy, it's not going to be very vibrant and healthy, and not, not going to send up a lot of new growth. So what you want to do is you want to regularly go into your, your grove of bamboo, your, your clump of bamboo, and you want to thin out the columns. You want to cut down at the base uh, right above the nodes. There's the, the nodes is where the, the, um, the strength of the bamboo comes together. And so what you want to do is you want to thin out these bamboo columns so that you have a nice open feel and it's a uh, it's a little bit tricky when you go in there and do it because some people think that the, the bigger columns are the older ones. But in reality, the new columns, the new shoots that are coming up in the bamboo clump are actually the youngest. They're, they get bigger and bigger as time goes by. As, the, as the, the root structure, the rhizomial structure of the bamboo gets older and older, it begins to send up bigger and bigger shoots, bigger columns as long as it has the proper nutrients and water and fertility that it needs to continue to grow and expand. But oftentimes what you'll see is an old clump of bamboo like this with a lot of smaller kind of dwind, uh, spindly, uh, you know, weak looking uh, combs of bamboo in the middle. And you want to cut those out. You want to thin out the smaller, the older ones. Some of them will even have died inside of your clump. You just want to cut those out and create airspace and circulation and light penetration. And when you do that, just like thinning a fruit tree, when you do that to your clump of bamboo, it's going to give all this new life and new energy into sending up new sprouts and new shoots. And so it really, bamboo requires some good uh, organic matter. You know, it wants to be dropping all of its leaves right around the base of it and having those leaves decompose and feed the soil. So if you can provide your bamboo with mulch and you know, additional soil uh, fertility through rock dust and and mineral, you know, compost, vermicompost, compost teas, any ways you can build your soil organically around your bamboo is going to help your bamboo thrive and produce more new edible shoots, more new beautiful green lush shoots, and um, really create the kind of bamboo that you're wanting for your landscape. So the other thing here is that when you're when you're using bamboo for, for a building material, when you're wanting to, to harvest the bamboo for some sort of construction purpose, what you want to do is you want to cut that bamboo and put it directly into some, uh, some water with some borate solution. 
and that borate solution will be soaked right up into the bamboo and treat it from the inside out. You want to leave all the leaves, leave the leaves, man. Leave the leaves on and then the photosynthesis will continue and it'll suck that, that, slute, that natural rock mineral treatment solution right up into the plant. So the other way of, of treating bamboo for, for use with building material is to knock out all the nodes, the internodes, the septums on the inside and create this situation where you can actually fill the inside of it with this uh, borate solution that preserves the, the wood from being eaten by bugs. You also want to know how to pick the right columns for use in building and construction because the newer, the younger the columns are, the sh newer, the younger the shoots are, the more sugars and starches and yeasts they're going to have in it and the less durable it's going to be. So the older the shoot of bamboo, the stronger it's going to be. If, if it's been in there for a while and it's actually a dead old column of bamboo, it's going to be pretty hard. Sometimes they'll even self preserve and sort of um, dry out right there standing in the clump and those are sometimes ideal for, for cutting out and using for building material. All sorts of things can be done with bamboo. It's really an incredible plant. Again, one of my favorites in your integrated whole systems permaculture landscape. Uh, wonderful perennial grass plant. They, some of them even grow three feet in one day. Amazing. They can just grow like this much in one day when they're first shooting up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Greenleaf TV. Join us next time. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day and remember to keep on growing, expand your love, and find ways to thrive and bring more joy into your life. Give us a like, you know, the like button down below. If you'd like to see other episodes of Greenleaf TV with talking about other plants, go ahead and uh, subscribe button down below as well.